What's good guys, it's me Bionic, bringing you and yet again another video on Paranormal Cleanup. We're about 30 hours in since its release and we have just had another update, patch 0.0.3. I'm slightly happy with this one, it's definitely moving in the right direction. So for this update, they have added controller settings. It's something so simple, but makes me so happy. I don't know about you. I've always, because I rely heavily on shift with my pinky. I really hate having to quickly detour and use the control for crouch. I know it's something so petty. That's just me. I've always preferred to default with my thumb to see. That's how I find it comfy. Don't hate me. Um, so now that we've got controller settings, that's great. So we can now rebind our keys, adjust our mouse sensitivity, and invert your mouse if that floats your boat. Um, they've updated the sound. I did a quick test run before I decided to record this video. Um, sounds now get occluded by walls and floors. I can say it is sounding a lot better. You're not in, say, the starting room and you can hear the and she's all the other way at the end of the house that's not there it'll it gets better trust me on that play it you'll see um adjusted several sound values like volume reverb range adjusted voice values um they are looking for feedback in that one so i'll be playing a bit more on that later to see what i can find for them now the bug fixes <clears throat> They have made some changes to the AI in hopes that the ghost will stop camping in certain situations. I hope that is the case. That's probably my biggest pet peeve with the game at the current minute. Because if you're playing solo, she locks you. That's that's the end of your run, essentially. Once she's got you locked, you're locked. In multiplayer, it's the biggest cheese, man. Like, you only need one person to bait her to one end of the house that you've already cleared. And you stand there, you toil with her, your team gets everything done in and out. So I'm, I'm hoping that one's... I haven't seen that one properly. I'm hoping to know a little bit more later today. Um, some more changes to try and fix the dupe bugs. So if you don't know what the dupe bug is, you can't do it if you're the host. If you are joining a lobby, essentially you could get a bag. You go over to the dumpster and spam as fast as you can your left click and e it'll, dunk, 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 it'll just keep spawning bags i myself have used that glitch many a times it's fun for this honestly it was fun for speed running purposes at the start i think my fastest run in a duo is like three minutes and 13 seconds because of the glitch um but that hasn't been rectified but it is a lot better i did test that on the run i did just before um instead of me being able to infinitely spawn um, I think the most I got out of this one, and it was either three or four. I will say four for the sake of things. But after that third or fourth, it literally just goes, boom. It's, it's in the bin. You can't use it. You've got to move on. So it is on the right path to eliminating that bug. Um, some more changes to the graphics and graphics settings and hoping to increase FPS. I haven't played around with that too much. When I'm recording, I've got to drop my things back because... My encoder just doesn't like it. When I'm playing, though, I play on everything maxed. So when I'm not recording or doing stuff for footage, I will test that properly a little bit later. And if it doesn't work, I might make another video and be like, yo, broken, come on. We need to get this one. Um, when the pause menu gets closed, it closes properly all sub menus like settings if they were open. I never had that problem before. So that one doesn't overly upset me too much or excite me. If it was something I had all the time, I know one of the biggest bugs at the moment, other than the camping, is when you res someone. Um, the band-aid icon will stay on your crosshair and it stays there for ages for no reason other than it's what it wants to do. But either way, this game, like I said, at the time of recording this, it's been out for 30 hours, give or take 30, 36 hours. I'm loving it. I'm having a hella amount of fun with it. Um, I'm looking for new ways to build content on it. Um, and yeah, the fact that we're up to our third update, sorry, second update, first was released. 
in that amount of time to rectify issues we're having to add controller bindings that which people have been asking for it shows the game is currently on its way in the right direction um what are your thoughts on the opening day of it let me know in the comments and till next time guys catch